Hi, this video is an introduction to a couple of new products I'm making available as Shapeways to make it easier to deal with SMA connectors, which can sometimes be hard to put on or take off by hand if they're especially tight or in a cramped location. The first is a plastic device called SMA knob. Here's an example in red, an example in green. And the second is a metal tool called SMA barrel wrench. First, let's look at the SMA knobs. These are plastic parts which are meant to be pressed into place on a male SMA connector. Let's try the male end. Press into place and then leave it there. It stays on firmly. I put one on this mini circuits SMA attenuator, which has uh, large cooling fins that can make it hard to get a good grip on the SMA connector behind it. The knob helps out with that. Now here's an antenna. The right angle connector has the same effect. It can be hard to get a good grip on, on the connector if it's really tight. So I'm going to press on this knob here. Now they're quite a bit easier to uh, handle. So I'll put this attenuator here on the transmitter output of this uh, software defined radio. Like so. I'm going to take the uh, antenna and put it on the receive side. Even though these connectors are pretty close to each other, the profile of the knobs gives enough clearance for them to swing. And if one knob is in the way so that they interfere, you can always try tightening or loosening them or even repositioning it on the hex of the male SMA connector. Now it's uh, quite a bit easier to tighten by hand without having to look for a tool. Now for those times when you'd rather use a tool, Instead of having something pressed into place on the end of a connector, I also have the SMA wrench. This is a small metal barrel wrench, which is designed so that you can slip it over the cable and then use it to tighten or loosen the, uh, the threaded part of the male SMA connector. Now, these uh, metal parts uh, shrink a little bit when they're manufactured. And I didn't make the uh, hex here quite oversized enough to be a slip fit, especially given the slightly rough texture of Shapeway's metal printed products. So until I make a newer revision where the hex is slightly larger, probably be helpful to take a small file, needle file, and file the five sides here to give more clearance. Now, the gap here is a little over 3.6 millimeters, so this can even work with uh, fairly fat cables. It'll slide right over there, and then fit onto there. And you can use it to tighten and loosen connectors, even when they're in a tight spot. Like so. And this is meant to be a tool that you take off after use instead of leaving in place like the SMA knobs. Now the drawback of this barrel wrench versus ordinary open end wrenches is that you can really only use it on cables with straight connectors like this. You can't use it on a right angle connector like this. Here's another example. So as you can see, you can't get it around the, uh, the hex portion. And you can't use it on wide things like this SMA attenuator. So it doesn't, doesn't replace all tools, but it is a very handy way to get into a tight spot and tighten or loosen an SMA connector. So even if this connector is really tight, too tight for me to unscrew by hand with other connectors and cables in the way, I can slip on this little barrel wrench here and, uh, and loosen it like so. Now, I also tried making the SMA barrel wrench in plastic, but I discovered that it wasn't strong enough. There's too much flex because of the opening in the side to let the cable through. And on a really tight connector, it'll just pop without uh, actually turning the, uh, the locking ring. So I'm not going to make this one available in plastic. I'm only going to make this available in the metal processes. 
So remember with this one, depending on the manufacturing tolerance, you may have to smooth out the inside a little bit with a needle file. But other than that, it's a nice hefty steel part that's still small enough to fit inside a pocket or a tool drawer. And very convenient for tightening and loosening troublesome SMA connectors. So there you have it. If these look like useful items to you, give them a try and please let me know how they work out for you. Thanks.